All right, uh, greetings family. This is Bomani Tayamba, and welcome to our investment conference call Sunday, August 16th. And this is for our Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community. Right, uh, so what I'm reading from and going through is uh, the conference call newsletter that was sent uh, via email from either myself or from the uh, MailChimp email uh, service. All right, and uh, as I scroll through this uh, conference call uh, newsletter, I'm not going to go through this um, the whole thing because it is uh, long. Uh, so over the period of time, it has been modified, and the goal is just to keep on organizing information in the, in the uh, newsletter. So the first thing you come up on is just um, a picture of myself in the middle with the uh, black star white uh, t-shirt, and then I'm right there by the chief, our lawyer in the blue, and Kwabena, our consultant, on the uh, left, and it's uh, titled. Uh, so that's a picture right there, at um, which will be the future of the chief's palace in Jahadzi. He's getting it uh, built, and uh, that is also a, a meeting point. Uh, so that's just a picture we took at December of 20. Uh, 19 on our last Ghana tour. So I started the newsletter off, and then the other guy is the uh, surveyor. Uh, so that's um, a group of us working together to get the project foundation built. Right, and I scroll down and it shows a uh, conference call dates. Uh, this one for August 16th, and also next one, uh, the best estimated time for me to set one is for October 14th. Uh, so these things are spaced out uh, as some of the information is repetitive, but the goal is to go over all of the details uh, to connect everyone that's interested in you know, eventually being a part of our Pan-African community there in Ghana. And I scroll down some more, and what you see is the 50 uh, plot uh, layout for the first uh, 15 acres, uh, which is a total of 60 plots intended for commercial. Uh, so th that is just um, a nice little site map based on the actual land survey and then our best way to lay it out just to show uh, the people that are looking to live there that's um, how our best layout with uh, plot numbers so everyone can select their plots because you know, once you have land, you want to make sure that everybody can get access to uh, selecting their plots and have an idea. So the goal is to work on uh, closing out on this 15-acre uh, deal um, in the next few days and pay the last payment and start a fresh memorandum of understanding and work on a fresh 99-year lease for this 50-acre uh, one that we have coming up as far as uh, a deal that I've been working on for a while to get 50 acres connected to the 15 acres. Uh, so once we get certain things going, we'll go to do another site map. Maybe one will have 15 and the 50 acres and also maybe this, there's one also separate. Uh, but uh, the goal is to show them together uh, to give you know, everyone a clarity of the vision for that 50 acres. And I'm going to go to uh, the layout of that uh, 50 acres. Now this uh, newsletter has uh, links of this, all the documentation. That's the main thing that I crafted on here. So it will show you a link for documents, videos, and pictures, and it will just give you a web website link uh, to our Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community uh, information on our website, AfricaForAfricans.org. And then uh, you see the public uh, Facebook uh, link also. So all the uh, updates, videos, and things like that, um, our goal is to always just post on there and anything that we have dealing with as far as interviews and things like that. Uh, so it's a, it's a public page, and a lot of times people do post other things on there. Uh, it may stay for a day or two, but eventually it gets uh, removed and things like that. Uh, we live in a world where people are unfocused. Uh, this is a page clearly about what it's about, but everyone wants to just get excited and post and share everything. Uh, so I want them people that don't believe in that you just have a page for business and people share everything. So I'm like that on the Facebook and the WhatsApp page. Uh, I usually tell them folks don't post certain things unless it's directly relevant or updates on what we're doing or if you have a question about what's going on. Other than that, I end up just uh, deleting it. Uh, so trying to build things to more of a focus point to where, you know, where people that are looking for updates and want to find out what's going on about this community are consistently engaged 
and then there may be a little one or two slow point, but uh, the goal is to always post update information and have regular conference calls and regular just updates on what's going on in Ghana, regardless of any lockdown or shutdown or anything going on. Uh, the goal is always to move forward, and then we have a lot of networking. It's more in a private base to where we are having, having direct meetings with uh, committees and also direct uh, just private meetings about what we're looking to work on. And those are more video calls, so that's what make it private. Uh, the video, uh, those private meetings, is just only for members only. Uh, that way uh, we can just see and talk to each other. Uh, so those that are interested, once you just connect in and become a part of the group by, by filling out all your paperwork and uh, sending your deposit and just, you know, getting, us, uh, getting you set up on WhatsApp to where you can understand that this is one of the apps that we use to communicate with and all updates are posted on there and sent also via email. Uh, so once you just go through a few things, uh, we'll get you to join a group. Uh, so all the information that's on the actual website is for you just to review with clarity. And then you'll get that email that's saying get, getting started. And you just go through all of the, uh, the documents itself as far as everything to send in. And it's uh, that process. And then if there's something missing, I'll communicate with you. Uh, so that's the information that we've been going over for the last, uh, you know, uh, for the last year to just get everyone just in pace and clear about everything. And then as time goes along, let's give you more updates. So what I want to do instead of just uh, focusing on all the things you need to get started, I just want to go through a few updates and also uh, and get some questions from those who are currently you now with us uh, in the group and also for those who are looking to join us. The main thing I want to talk about uh, here also, I'll just skip uh, from one to two. The community will be built in two phases or more based on fu uh, future demands. So phase one entails uh, 60 plots on 15 acres. The residential and commercial plots on both phases are 80 feet by 100 feet for a total of 8,000 square foot. So we plan to use uh, the 10 remaining plots uh, for park community center and business center and security posts, and that's for phase one. Right. Phase two will include 200 plots on 50 acres for residential and business projects. This will include uh, 20 plots for farming, 120 plots for residential, eight plots for apartments slash condos, 30 plots for on-site slash commercial uh, investment um, or just basically our commercial plots. Uh, two plots for community store, three for medical center, four for education slash training building, uh, three for maintenance facility, and 10 acres for an additional park community center and business center. And more phases will be added as we progress. Also, private or public investments uh, will be added around the community in the town to complement building a real black power and black owned town, uh, black economics for nation building. So as we build uh, the uh, community, uh, what I'm basically saying is that we pull enough energy to draw other people to build around and just create a nice, this you know, black uh, town, uh, this, you know, something strong for us as a people. Uh, you know, so um, you get to the point where, you know, you're not only are traveling now, you're just looking to invest in the future of what you're building. Uh, so that's just one way to start. Uh, black economics, um, you know, which is what I would say we need to focus um, more about. Or whatever we do, we just always add that in and make sure it's a part of it. All right, uh, three, uh, applications and reservations for phase two, uh, which is in progress. So everyone will know a lot more about uh, phase two once um, September comes around. Uh, the deal and everything will be a lot quicker and simpler because we've been here before. And the main thing as far as um, uh, all the documents and everything to send in, because uh, you'll see certain things, we have sign-off sheets and things like that. Uh, the best thing to do is to literally just just have everything saved in this one folder and go through it to make sure you're clear on everything. And if you have a, if you want to do this digital signature uh, and save yourself from printing and signing, that's uh, absolutely uh, fine. And then any uh, documents uh, that uh, you may not have received that you're, you're interested in having based on what you see here on the um, 
uh, newsletter. Uh, example, 99-year lease or the memorandum of understanding based on the 15-acre uh, communal land deal, and also things like uh, land search and um, a land survey. And then there's any documents in general. So we have the list of all the documents from the beginning as far as what we have processed and talked about. And uh, as people come online and show interest, the goal is just to share everything. Uh, most of, for the most part, most things are on the website, but there's only so much you can put on there. Like the land search and the land survey is on there. Uh, the MOU and the 99-year uh, lease is not. Those are just documents that's just not available to put online. Uh, things including the uh, uh, bylaws and the uh, committee uh, commitment is on the uh, website along with all the other uh, documents to give you an overview. All right, and as I talk about the 99-year lease, uh, one of the main things is uh, our goal is to finish completing our business name uh, as a legal business entity here in Ghana and register the land in that name and that will be Black Star Pan-African Community. Once you have the business name, then your goal is to be on this register in the land and you set up your business account. So everything is uh, being done to organize this operation as a business enterprise. And as I scroll down the list of things, as uh, my goal is just to go through it as simple as possible. Uh, land clearing, grading, and pillars. So that's what Kwabina, our consultant, is working on to get everything all processed uh, before the end of the month. To, and we have someone that's available to record the videos and uh, get some documentation since the country is not open up and none of us are there. And um, just work it as best as possible to give everyone updates on that. Uh, next month uh, in September, we'll have a whole lot more for you. And the goal is just to document all form of progress. And the main thing that I have on this uh, list is the committee list. Uh, so the committee list is just a list of all the committees uh, that we have uh, set up. And uh, what I explained to everyone is in order for us to get this uh, completed at an accelerated rate is to make sure that uh, we basically uh, follow a strategy of all uh, hands on deck. Uh, and in that situation, all hands on deck, we'll basically get everything worked out and organized ahead of time and just figure it out. So what we have set up is 10 committees, and I'm going to just read off all 10, and they cover all aspects of everything that needs to be done or completed to make sure this committee works efficient. Business and professional affairs, safety, security, and surveillance, education, cultural, and social affairs, sustainable energy and utilities, medical and wellness, planning and development, maintenance and landscaping, waste management and recycling, agriculture and livestock, uh, bylaws and homeowners affair. Uh, so those are a list of the uh, 10 committees and um, the goal is just to work our best plan to this, um, introduce everyone as possible in group calls, but more so once we do different committees just to get people more of a personal connection and that's usually between like 8 to 12 people. So. You know, give everyone a chance to connect, work together, and get to know each other little by little. And through this process, the goal is just to connect everyone in a more, this, I guess, best way as we can right now before we organically connect. Uh, when we physically all meet together as uh, time go along uh, on the land. So all of this information I'm also talking about is just right there on that link uh, that gives you uh, documentation uh, for our community on our website. And uh, the bylaws is long, and some of it is long in detail, but uh, the goal is just to provide as much foundation information as possible so you can be clear and then just uh, process through. So I don't have a whole lot that uh, I have to talk about, uh, but one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, work the screen share, and let me just stop it for a few seconds, and i just get one more clip up, and then I'll just go through it, and then we'll open up for questions. And perfect, so I have a fresh uh, page up for screen sharing. Just wanted to modify this email. All right, so the email that I have set to send uh, is uh, titled Phase 2, Getting Started, Membership Application, Sample Info, Bylaws, and Overview. 
And so this email is organized in, the, in our eight attached files, and I'll just go to that. And this is what you have to just be clear on. And everything is sent in an example just to show you the kind of way that uh, you need to send information back as best as possible. But everything is scanned or saved as a PDF, nice and neat. Uh, the attachment that's on this uh, email, sample membership application in PDF, national criminal uh, record sample uh, search in PDF. Uh, so that's one of the requirements is a national background check. And, uh, and once you get it, just download the PDF or save it as a PDF and uh, attach the email that you'll send back. Our membership application, that's in PDF and also uh, Word. And uh, so what you can do is just fill everything out and do a digital signature. Uh, that way you don't have to print it out. So typing is fine, um, whether you use Word or PDF and in any form of e-signature. Uh, passport info, info and uh, signature page. Uh, so if you're from the U.S., Canada, or, or different country, uh, same sequence. They have a signature page and face page. They're scanned and they're saved as a JPEG. Uh, passport style photo uh, in JPEG. So let's get a regular 2x2 two two, uh, photo and then we use that as your profile photo. Uh, so if you just have a passport style photo, you're going to scan that and save it as a JPEG. Uh, let's make it look nice and neat as possible. All right, uh, full Black Star Pan-African Community Overview uh, in PDF. So uh, that's sent in PDF, and you can just use one of those DocuSigns and just sign it off. But the goal is just to be clear about what you're reading as all of the rules, regulations, all of the things that all of us agree on to connect us as one union of people. And also, uh, if you read this information on our website, include the bylaws, it's the same information, so you can use the uh, sign-off sheet itself. Uh, so as far as the overview, one thing about the overview, uh, what you receive via email is one solid document, but that's a combination of like um, the 10 different articles that's on the uh, website with the exception of the committees and the bylaws. Right? And the, the bylaws also is attached to this uh, information, and that's uh, in 19 pages, but it's just broken down. So that's the other uh, uh, mandatory read and sign. So read and sign for the community overview and the bylaws. And then the committee um, attachment is the same information that I'll send to you on WhatsApp and same for you to sort of select one committee or one or two committees. And then uh, once you reply back, we'll just keep in communication. And then based on uh, overfilled or what we have less of, that's what I will share with you. Uh, and we just do our best to get people to connect in certain committees, but uh, we can't have uh, several committees with all the people and then one or two with low numbers. So some of us, uh, you know, it would be helpful to just join in something maybe you're not directly you know, experiencing or, or and, and then you just want to be more so interested in because everything is based on research and development anyway. What we're doing is researching the fields that uh, we're connected to in the committee and providing the connection as far as building the community uh, that way. Uh, so those are your uh, documents uh, right there. Uh, so it is um, all there as far as the attachments, and just take your time, go through it. It's a lot of information to the point where when we go over it, we are just usually just go over it in segments. Uh, but that email is just a straightforward email, and it just, just lets you know about um, the cost, what's included, and uh, just the direction we are in, and even have the cancellation and refund policy on the uh, email itself. And that's just trying to combine as many things as possible just on one email to make it simple. And But again, uh, the other emails that you may not have received that you may want to look over, um, like the 99-year lease or the MOU, uh, you can just always reach out and get that or all of the other documents. Uh, so I have two separate emails with those. And so family, that is it for that uh, email. And... Uh, uh, the next thing is the YouTube page. Uh, the goal is uh, this it's a public YouTube page with just all of our conference call uh, videos and just any documentation that I organize. And the goal is just to keep on adding, adding information and show where we know, where we just built the foundation from, which was just from conference calls and also just going to the land 
meeting the chief and going through the full process of viewing the land and just visiting the area. So on, an, on our next uh, Ghana journey, the, the goal is just to do more of those documentation. And then once we get the physical land clearing and a few other things going, we'll document those in recordings and then just organize them and you know, share with everyone and keep it going. And then the public uh, Facebook page that we have, um, I just do my best to just update information on there. Anyone that have any questions or anything that's can put on there, but um, I have everything on there that way. If anyone wanted to just go back there and scroll to uh, the pictures, videos, or whatever was sent, uh, you, can, you can get access to it. And all the videos of the land that we have viewed, uh, it's also on this page. All right, so family, that is most of the information that uh, I want to go through. So let me literally just open things up, uh, see if we have any questions. I'll see if we have any current members that want to share anything with uh, what's going on with us. All right, so family, I have everyone in uh, regular mute mode, so you have to just press star six to unmute yourself. And then from there, just give your name, where you're calling from, your question. Hello, Brother Bomani. Uh, greetings. <laughs> Hello, um, this is Arava. Um, I have a question um, that others may be thinking about that are um, just looking at this opportunity. Uh, first of all, everyone, greetings. Uh, my name is Arava. Um, my Cameroonian name is Mafo Mbona. Um, I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. And um, I've joined Phase 2, and I'm just so excited to be a part of this um, dream come true as far as I'm concerned. Um, my question is, as phase two progresses, um, how will updates be for those of us who are still here stateside and the construction is ongoing overseas, how will we get updates um, as far as the progression, you know, um, who overseas will be looking at um, over, you know, um, as overseers of the projects, um, you know, sending us videos, photos, that kind of thing. Yeah, for those of us who have a direct, um, you know, agreement with building, uh, then you know, you'll get whatever updates that you need to get as far as what your request based on uh, updates in your projects and. Those of us that are there, we're looking over those things. But as far as anyone else, um, you know, whatever we have as far as conference calls and information sent uh, via our group chat and um, YouTube, uh, that's those general updates. But as far as yourself, you you have direct updates, uh, and that's just a contract uh, situation. And then if you have someone that's personally doing certain things for you, they'll be able to send you the videos and updates. But our goal is to make sure that everyone is getting their house built that they're being updated and everything is clear and that's the agreement with anyone that's working on the property and the, and the project. So, Thank you. Thank you. All right, perfect. Yeah, so a whole lot of WhatsApp uh, video sharing would probably be uh, very ideal also. Hello? Uh, greetings. Greetings. This is Lauren. Hello, everyone. Uh, um, greetings, Lauren. I I had a question uh, because I noticed um, in the paperwork that you sent, as well as you mentioned tonight, about condominiums, and that was the first time I heard of that. So how is that going to be different from actually building a structure, a, a house, or... Yeah, those will be apartments and things that we need to have for our crew, staff, and other people that are coming and things like that. Uh, so that's just something we're building uh, for people to stay in that that uh, needs that. But the plot of land is just available for those to build homes. That's what we're encouraging. And then uh, other people that build apartments or and things like that, for those who wanted to stay there, they're more than welcome to do, do that also. But uh, the main investment of it is which will work for everything else is for individuals to get plots of land to build homes. Uh, but that's, you know, what you're talking about is not out the question. Uh, so if you wanted to build more of a condo or set up on your property, uh, that's also fine. Oh, you can build a condo on your plot of land? 
Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah basically, uh, if you just want to build more than more than one doors in a uh, situation like that, if you want to build something where it's just, it's you know it's one building, but it's uh, it's kind of separated. So just open okay. to you know different mindsets of what people want to do. Just we just want everything to look nice, neat, and organized, and that everything flows and definitely more sustainable than anything else. Okay, so are you saying that um, what do they call them? Um, Duplex. Duplex, yes. So something like that would be okay on the land. Ah, uh, yes, uh, absolutely. Especially if it can fit, uh, and a duplex okay. would be, would be able to fit on the um, uh, the quarter of an acre. So some people okay. already have that in mindset already. Okay, thank you. And there may be a situation where you know, someone have maybe teenagers that won't be teenagers soon, and they want them to be on one side of the house. And they want to be on the other side, and the other side, or the other side maybe for a family member, or a friend to rent, or something like that. Just trying okay. to create flexibility. Okay. Thank you. Ah, uh, perfect. Uh, you're welcome. All right, so family, uh, we're talking about the uh, Black Star Pan African Community, and uh, we're just going through information on how to get started, and uh, this general information as far as this uh, foundation progress of the uh, community. All right, and uh, one of the most important thing is uh, everything that we have done the last year is to set things up so we can all get started with building, and uh, the goal is to finalize the few builders that we have to get them organized for us for October, November. So for those who are ready um, and in place, um, we'll be able to just work with them and everything. Our focus has to be organizing ourselves for proper mobilization to achieve what we need to achieve as far as just being able to get what we need to get done. So there's many things that we can do now, including getting to know each other and working in our communities. We can also uh, kind, of, you know, kind of build a vision of what we're looking to get built in the, the community and also put other things in perspective. Uh, so. That's the best I can you know, recommend. Um, other than that, um, uh, we have a lot of people running to Africa that are not prepared because they're freaked out uh, by, I guess, the downfall of America, ca, ca, uh, whatever is going on. Uh, whose line is open? I have another question. This is Loren uh, again. Um, regarding the, the committee, uh, when are they going to actually start moving forward? And how will we know who's on our committee? Uh, yes, um, like yourself, uh, you're not, you have not been added. So, but as far as others, because um, I haven't added you to the group yet, so looking through your information, I'll get you added in there too. But as far as that, um, everyone that's uh, joining um, the uh, committee, the committee organizer will get your information to add you to the group and you'll get their information to connect with that individual. Then once you're connected to the group, you introduce yourself, but you also see everyone else in the group. And then whenever you do um, video calls, which is what we recommend all the committee calls to be, is video calls. Everyone have their videos on and you, know, you talk and the goal of every time you meet as a committee is for new people to introduce themselves and then one or two people just to give a general introduction. Uh, so that's once a month and by that being you know, in operation, few people get to know each other and then when we have a regular group call and then we have like 30, 40 people on the call, we'll just introduce the newest people in with this and then from time to time you get to see who is who. But we have all those calls recorded already. Uh, so you'd be able to even go back and look at the first two group calls where some of the people introduce themselves. Uh, so that's what I've set up as best as we can uh, organize. Uh, but um, but I definitely got you, though. You'll be connected shortly. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. You're welcome. Hello. Uh, greetings. Yes, greetings. Good afternoon. Um, so my name this is Quianta uh, Smith. And I'm calling from um, the state in Los Angeles, California. And I wanted to find out um, what is the uh, process. I have been getting emails 
for, you know, like for the conference call and things like that. But the last email that you were speaking of, I um, have not yet received that email. And I was wondering, am I supposed to be connected to the group in order to uh, receive those information? I am making plans to uh, attend uh, on, for the trip in December. But uh, I wanted to find out, is that something that I have to request to be added to, or how does that work? Uh, yes, it's, a, it's uh, something you have to um, this, this send me an email, so you want to be added to that um, email as, as far as those who are interested in the community. What I have is just a general newsletter for any tours and investment you put together. What you're doing is just sharing uh, any tours I come up with or any uh, investment projects we're working on. Just, you know, the sharing it to the email list that we have um, for you know, and beyond that, uh, anyone that's interested in any specific one of those posts, if we don't have them on that specific tour or or community project, then you, once you just communicate with me, I'll add you, and then you just get more information about that uh, project, and then that's when we get into like you know private video calls and things like that, and you get to connect with those who are actually in the group. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. So perfect. So just uh, send me an email, and then I'll send you the getting started email and any other documents uh, that you need. Okay. We'll do. Thank you. All right. Uh, perfect. Perfect family. The line is open. Uh, if anyone have any questions, and um, what we have read through is the conference call newsletter. Okay, it's me, Loren, again. Um, All right. I, I would like to know if our group is going to go to Ghana, um, maybe outside of the tour. I, I'm not sure if I'm quite ready to travel next year, and I'm waiting to see what, you know, the Ghanaians are going to do to open up. But, and, I just wanted to know if we, as our repatriation group, are going to visit uh, Ghana and the land as a group. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know how to pull that off. But uh, I do have a tour there in December, and we have a good amount of people that are part of the community in that group. So uh, when we go there in Ghana, my goal is always to record everything that we do in the community uh, and then share on the uh, uh, YouTube page. Uh, so, but when anyone want to go, whether it's uh, individual or group, uh, we'll make sure that we have people available to you know, connect with them. Uh, so, if anybody else that's doing tours, that's traveling with someone else, and they want to stop by or make arrangements, our goal is to just make sure we have uh, things organized to show people. Um, and especially when things open up, people are going to want to literally see the land. So, I'm trying to get our guys in place to understand that everything needs to be organized already because people are going to want to look at their options before they even fully invest in it. Uh, so but um, so we're going to do our best to just try to get a bunch of videos of the ongoing process. Uh, but, um, you know, we really want more people to go see it and then also make their own recordings of it and you know, also share. So whenever you're ready, um, just uh, you know, let us know. Other than that, you'll have access to a whole lot of information before that. All right, hopefully that answers your question. And uh, anyone else, uh, family, the line is open. And uh, what I have for you is just what we have uh, talked about, that we are in process of making phase two come to life. And everything is a lot simpler because we went through that whole phase one process with uh, documentation and everything. So, Hello? Uh, reasons. Go ahead. Do we have any updates on phase one and how that's going? Where what the status is right now? Uh, yes, the status is uh, we're going to make uh, the final payment uh, this week, and then that's it. Other than that, uh, we have a 99-year lease that was completed and signed by us, the chief, uh, his uh, party, and our immediate um, board, I should say, and. Um, we have an MOU on the uh, arrangements of the deal, and uh, so the goal is uh, once we um, pay it off, um, 
is to get the land uh, registered in our business name once we get our business paperwork. And other than that, uh, the other uh, update is uh, we're in process of getting the land cleared and getting the land marked and laid out and um, waiting for a price for the land to get graveled. So those are the steps you're making, and um, so you set things are set up for October, November, for those who are ready to build, but uh, they also have to be ready and have all the things that they need to have in place. So that's um, us working efficient to give everybody a opportunity to, to where they can just start building and doing what they need to do, and then phase two will be right right after that. Uh, after we pay a certain amount, we'll get access to you know, start getting land clearing and things like that. So it's, a, you know, it's an ongoing, nonstop process. Right. And once you get all of that, everything in place for us to start building, how long do we have in order to get a uh, building up and and done? Uh, yes, the goal is uh, uh, three to five years for uh, something livable. So if all of us start building this year, next year, within three to five years, we'll have a complete community. So. Well, the goal is just to get everybody access in phase one and two to start building and make even next year for phase two a realistic uh, situation at the beginning of the year that we all of us are kind of building at the same time. But um, so you know, 20, 2025 you know, be one of those years where we can just go back and look at, see almost a completed community, and then we'll work wow. on strategies for anything that maybe uh, you know need a little more attention to. But I mean, that's an estimated goal, but it's all also based on our commitment. Uh, if all of us decide we want to have our house built within one year, and, you know, it could be, you know, it could be all done. Great. Thank you. All right. Uh, perfect. Uh, you're welcome. And also, family, once you um, get off the call, just uh, meet yourself back. Um, that way we can just reduce the feedback. So let me see who is actually needs to be muted. All right, our next person, um, your name, your number, where you're calling from, any question? Hello, Bumani. Uh, greetings. Greetings, greetings. How are you? This is um, Pastor Mike over in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, How's everybody? Yes, I just wanted to do a follow-up uh, for an individual. He called me. He said he sent it in, uh, his package in a couple of weeks ago. Uh, his name is, uh, can you do a follow-up for me on that, Art Arthur Attaway? Yeah, the best thing for him to do is to physically call me. Um, I'd rather for no one to send anything here without speaking to me or communicating with me, but that name don't sound familiar. So, um, yeah, so, but uh, everything here that comes in mail, payments, is process one to two days. So if you send something in and you don't get it, that means I don't have it here. Um, I don't let you know. Okay. I don't let anything accumulate here. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay. I'll follow up with him and find out. Well, how did he send it? Maybe he didn't. Yeah. Uh, it didn't go through. I know mine didn't go through at first, so uh, I had to resend it. So. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're talking about payments, you, when you said send, I thought you mean mail something. But if you're talking about payment <laughs> sent, yeah, also um, you can send me an email saying, hey, I sent this payment a few days ago or whatever, when, and can you check this is how it was sent, this is the documentation, and I'll look back to it. But uh, most payments come to PayPal and Zelle, so those emails get sent, and those are accounts that I check um, regular okay. basis. Uh, even cash app and anything comes in mail and then there's few people who may send things via different like a wire transfer but uh, nevertheless um, um, if you can just have him just reach out to me first thing Monday morning or Monday afternoon I can me and him can okay. talk and we can figure it out okay I have, I'll have him call you direct That'll that's work. perfect and as far okay, as the paperwork uh, did he email it or something uh, or did he mail that in uh, well, he just called and, and asked to follow up on it, but uh, I'll have him speak with you direct. Perhaps maybe the way he did it didn't go through, and that can happen. 
Yeah, you're talking, payments. About, you're talking about payments and the paperwork or just the uh, payments? Um, I'm not really clear. He just said he sent his paperwork. Uh, oh, his paperwork, I got you. Whether it's a payment or paperwork, I'm not sure. But we'll right, do a no follow-up, and I'll have him call you. All right, well, perfect. Uh, we'll appreciate the edge of We'll work it out. And that's for anyone that's also listening to this recorder call. If there's anything that's not received, just communicate with me. I'm, I'm up faithfully working on things like this uh, every day. Um, and, I'll, you know, we'll work it out. Things do get, you know, get caught up in places like, the postal system is like the worst. Oh, it's an example. Yeah, it's jacked up now. America <laughs> <Fall in. laughs> Oh, anytime the postal service is down, man, that's not good. That is not good. Yeah. But we'll follow up. Also, the the only question uh, that I had was, uh, we're going to be there in July doing the uh, Pan African Fest next July. Uh, would you happen to be there? Are you going to be in that area, be over in Ghana during that time, or you don't uh, have any plans? Uh, no, my goal is not to be in Ghana in July, probably in another country, but uh, I'm there for May and June. Uh, but nevertheless, um, anything that needs to be set up uh, for any any groups or any individual, the goal is to have it worked out to where, and especially if it's a group, you know, the goal is to step it up a lot more and make sure that uh, we okay. can arrange where the chief is there and a few other people are there. Uh, but in general, uh, any individuals or one or two people, we can arrange um, a private visit. We, I'm sure we can set up a welcome center and other things like that, and you know, which we can all discuss. All right, thank you. Uh, absolutely, uh, you're welcome. All right, be blessed. Hello, hello, hello Bomani. Uh, greetings, Kim. Kim uh, can, uh, Araba, can, you, uh, can you hold on? Uh, greetings, uh, Kim. Okay. Can you go ahead? Um, my question is, will we as individuals be able to set up a business license under the umbrella of the Black Star community? And my, uh, the reason I'm asking this question is I noticed during the lockdown that people who had a business purpose were allowed into different African country that is a great question um i would have to uh, reach out to our attorney and ask him that question to get all the ins and out detail without um giving bad or wrong information okay get back to me with that thank you absolutely i will but i also to answer the other question about business um, yeah, the, the goal is to make it easier for all of us to have our business itself set up as our own independent entity. Uh, but what Kim was talking about, family, is being under umbrella of what we have set up already, uh, which is the Black Star Pan African community. So that part I would have to be clear on. But uh, yes, our goal is to make sure that we have all the people in place to just help us process bank account and business account, residency and um, uh, citizenship. That way we can just, you know, it's kind of like when you put your money together, you can have a staff of people to do all these things for you, and it comes out, you know, less stress. I thought we had one other person that was um, trying to get on. Uh, Araba, I want to say that was you. Yes. Um, yes. Unmute yourself. Yes, thank you. Um, um, I, too, plan on being uh, in Ghana for Panafest, and by that time, um, should our land be already selected, uh, will there be markers with our names, or how will the land be marked so we can see exactly what we selected? Oh, uh, yes, it'll be marked by the uh, pillars. Uh, that's part of the, um, the the deal for the payments. Uh, land clearing and land set up with pillars, with your name on it, and then uh, goal is to get the street graveled so it could be look nice and everything and get it graded to where it's completely soil, so it's not something that will grow back right away. And, and then we just plant all the trees that we want. And then also, once we do the site map, um, I'm trying to give estimate for these things, uh, the October, uh, say about October, because I need a land survey to come back sometime in September to get, it, to get an actual layout of how the land look, and then um, be able to just uh, draft a, a site map to where all of the plots will be so you can select your plots. And then on a physical situation, 
whatever we have on the site map is what the land layout will be because it's a, it's a graph of the actual land itself and then the layout is just based on how we design it. Thank you. And absolutely, are you welcome? In fact, I want to hear from some of the people that are interested but uh, still this process and everything, just want to know if you have any questions or anything or if you just wanted some projections because that's what we're doing. We're working on projections and then following through. So. Uh, September last year, um, you know, so it's uh, less than a year ago, uh, we started this working on this uh, project and getting everything organized. So it's come back around to where September again coming, where we start working on phase two. And the goal is to, now that we have a feel of everything and we know what we're looking forward to, we can get it done ahead of time. On, uh, so more and more people that are interested can join for us. So I want to get to the point where we can just get more of those clarity of phase two so more people can just be clear and join in. And then the goal is also just to show our continuous progress on phase one. All right, so family, the line is open for anyone who have any questions. And we'll close in about uh, 10 minutes. And also everything family I've spoke about is right there on that uh, newsletter. So it's the best document I have to keep updating. And when I send it out, some things may be similar, but that is, I do my best to type the updates. And also let's type all the details we're gonna talk about uh, so we can get uh, questions ready. So family, uh, let me know if anyone has else have any questions before we close out in the next uh, five minutes. All right. I have a question. All right, go ahead and share a question. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, uh, my question is like if, if someone uh, was interested and they like sent in their deposit and paid all their money, how would they go about um, well, well, I guess two things. One is because we would still have to pay for the, like our building and, and all of that stuff. Is there some kind of thing where we can get some kind of estimate of how much all of that would cost so we know what to save up? And as well, how could someone transition as far as like finding work, let's say, if, if, not a, if we're not able to retire just yet? Yes, yeah, to answer the immediate question as far as work, um, always recommend that everyone writes business plan and everyone um, uh, work in commune. So it is a community, so you have community work there. Um, where all of us work and we split whatever we need to split. The business that I have itself I requires many people that I don't have right now to do that business. Uh, so it's one of those things also where, you know, where we have people there to help other people their business, and then others who want to learn different traits can work with certain people. But the goal is for us to literally work those things out. Now, as far as as your estimate and things like that, uh, you can always send me a detailed email. That's what I always just recommend everyone do and put whatever factors in there as, as best as possible. Uh, that way I can get you a direct answer. Um, and so um, it, the more you can do, the better as far as those things. And then if there's anything you have any that you want to talk about and discuss, you can always call me or you know, send certain emails. But, it goes to give everyone okay. immediate answers and communicate immediately. Okay. Thank you. All right, family. Uh, so I'm going to work on closing this in a minute. Let me just see if there's anyone that... Uh, all right, so anyone that's, uh, that have joined us and has been... Fill out their information and join energy with us if you just want to open up and share your experience or share your vision or just anything, um, the call is open in one chat. All right, somebody was asking me, can you type the chat? Uh, that's what I was saying from the beginning. You can also type the chat, but I don't see any chat on here. All right, so family, the main thing is that uh, we have everything set up on our website, uh, africaforafricans.org, and once you get there, you're just clicking on the Black Star Repatriation and Pan-African Community link. And that's how I have things set up as far as the tours and investment or the things that we do as far as uh, the our just general Africa uh, project uh, or projects. Uh, so once you are there, you're just processing through all of the information and all of it is going to give you clarity for everything that we're going to work on. 
and then things are going to seem like it's a lot more fast paced and you know so once we get a few of these things going this month and next month and so on we just uh, keep sharing on different updates and the main thing that we're doing which is just our committee so so until you're uh, join for join energy with us um we don't really have much we can connect you with on the committees but it's one of those things where we tell everyone that it's all about the different people who can to see different things that need to be done and organized and be about it um, and do my best to just get us connected with land based on this, the, you know, being in the right area, having the right energy of people that we're working with and uh, just putting together a program with good energy of people that can come together and just, you know, make it work for all of us definitely a little bit different uh, since it's not you know since it's a lot of different people but it's something that I've been working on for a while and I've tried to support a lot of people on it uh, different groups uh, but it's work that they weren't willing to do uh, so but uh, with the people from the African diaspora it's a great uh, opportunity for us to just connect and make this work it's a move that's not the easiest thing to make some people that live there in Africa um, and we may think that it's just you know, simple for them and things like that, but they have had their trials and and then some people are a little more you know, have things a little more planned and organized. It's not something I personally have interest in doing. I believe that you know we should organize ourselves as groups or as business entities and things like that, and make a more impactful operation on the continent, um, and, and it puts more meaningful energy into what we're doing, yeah. and ultimately whatever we build would you know work to where other people can connect more vibrantly you know so if we have a community there that's rolling and then certain people want to reach out to us we can just make whatever deal to assist them so if there's someone wants wants to come for six months to work and do certain other things we can do that uh, so for me it's all about us creating opportunities to build what we need to build and make it work for the rest of us um, and just work it all out uh, so uh, we won't have an, uh, one of these calls for a while. It'll be early October, so by then I'll have a lot more for everyone and things like that. And then I can really just get more into talking about phase two. Uh, so as the layout I gave earlier is the best layout idea, but once we get down to graphing it and laying it out, it may be a little bit different. Uh, so the, and the last thing, so once I get those number plots from 1 to 120 for the plots and... Uh, commercial plot numbers and everything those who uh, have committed ahead of time and then the ones from phase one who have reached out to me I have your name on that list also you just select an order and, and select as many plots as you want and we just work it all out alright so family uh, that's all I have for tonight so um, before I close if anyone else have any last minute thing just let me know or post it real quick and then other than that we're going to be closing all right, family, I appreciate everyone. I just unmuted everyone except for one person that was loud. Uh, thank you for joining the call and everything. And hopefully uh, we have some new people that were interested that would just reach out to me uh, when you're ready, and uh, we'll talk. I'm available to talk throughout the day, so just, just reach out to me, and we'll go over anything that you need to go over. But the most important thing is want to make sure that you're clear before you get involved because it's not really for everyone. It's just a different uh, situation, but it's uh, all worth it. All right, anyway, family, uh, good night, everyone, uh, and you take care, and uh, we'll keep in touch. Good night. From Brad, good night. Good night. <laughs>